ladies and gentlemen. This is for my Final Cut users. They ask me about my system set up all the time. Like, how have I got my system set up? How do I got my system set up? Well, I have a server, and I have a Mac Pro, and I use it as a server. And it not only serves my whole house, but I use it to serve my media to my Final Cut Studio editing, which I use the i7 iMac here to edit on. Now, the Mac Pro that I use as a server is back here. Got my little time machine drive on it there. It's back here in the back. Now this is just strictly a server. I have them connected by the Ethernet. And I have my scratch disk for Final Cut Studio set to this server. The server's got a uh, 10,000 RPM hard drive in it. As you can see, I can copy a gigs of data from this server to my iMac over Ethernet faster than I can through Firewire if I had an external Firewire drive so I, what I've stopped doing is here recently I've stopped storing just about anything on my desktop or anything like that and I store it over here because I can access anything from this server almost as fast as I can if it's stored right there on my hard drive if I could um, show a demonstration of this let's grab a 100 Meg file. Let me give me a second to set things up here. Let's see here. Let's pull up the desktop of the server. Um, here. Let's see here. I'll have to go over here now and delete something because we don't want to copy the same thing twice. There we go. So now, as you can see, I'm going to grab this file here. Right there, see it moving in the background? And I'm going to drag and drop it on the desktop of this server. Right here. Boom. It's going to start copying. It's going to pop up over here. Boom. That fast! 100 megs! That fast. So you can see why I use my scratch disk on my Mac Pro which is not even attached to my editing system okay uh, I get a lot better speed out of using my server as my scratch disk I have my scratch disk set to my documents on this server and that way when I render on this machine all the render files go on to the server and I can access them from wherever in the house if that makes any sense so how I basically got it set up is I have this acting as a server which if I'm working on a project in Final Cut Pro I'll load all my media files onto this server here okay and then I'll fire up Final Cut Pro I've got my scratch disk disk set to this as well then I'll fire up Final Cut Pro that way I can access all my media and have all my media served to me from this machine here and I don't have to worry about keeping it on this machine and filling up my hard drive and having to go empty my scratch disk and having it rotten constantly because it's going to render for six hours so the hard drive's constantly working. I don't want to wear out my main machine so I got it all on a server here. All my media, I'm trying to, to I can't stress that enough, all my media is on this machine. I plan on putting eight terabytes of storage in it that way I can put absolutely every single piece of media on that I own on the server and not have to have anything on my iMac except the OS and applications. Now, and down in the hole here is a 3 terabyte RAID that I used to um, for, for this attached to the iMac. You know, sometimes I need I, ha I need quick access to something or I'll use it for time machine. But it's a 3 terabyte RAID which is two uh, two 1.5 terabyte hard drives rated together that's it and then right beside it there is a one terabyte hard drive and those are used for time machines and just you know temporary storage and stuff like that and down here if I can find it where's the master switch is right here this is what runs everything if I flip this switch it all goes down um, this is what's attached to my server and my iMac all that good stuff. There's a surge protector back there, and I got another surge protector on it up here, under here as well. So that's it. That's my setup. This Mac Pro is now a, a server.
It's going to be soon have terabytes and terabytes of storage in it because they now have two terabyte hard drives, internal hard drives, and if I get four of them, that's eight terabytes. So I can put every piece of iTunes media I got on it. I can have me a separate folder for my Final Cut Pro projects. I can have my scratch disk on the server. Now you can see the benefits of a Mac Pro. Okay? You got you, you get you a Mac Pro and you get you a little iMac and you got yourself a pretty much a studio at home. Um, it's just so great. It's so fast because it's got the gigabit Ethernet on the Mac Pro. You know, so I just plugged it right in there, and you wouldn't believe the speeds you would get if you are serving your media or using a scratch disk on a server and, and transferring it over the Ethernet cable. Okay, instead of hooking up a Firewire 800 drive, or instead of hooking up a eSATA cable or eSATA drive, okay, having an external eSATA drive as a scratch disk because they're really fast, what I'm doing is I'm rendering over the Ethernet, you see. I have my scratch disk set to this server and the only way this server is connected to the iMac is both of them are plugged in with an Ethernet cable to that router. Okay, So the throughput through an Ethernet cable is a lot more than you're going to get through a Firewire cable is what I'm telling you. So that's why I can render so much faster um, with it set to the server as I can anywhere else. Uh, let's see if I can see what's going on here. I was going to see if I could render something, but uh, there it goes. It's going to start rendering. And when it's rendering, you can see it's going to zoom up there. And as it's rendering, you can see that Ethernet, that Internet is working like crazy because the scratch disk is set to the server over here. So it's transferring rendering through here. And as you can see, that was, this is a 10 minute clip I'm rendering, and it's just got 4 minutes to go, 6 minutes to go. And this is a 10 minute H.264 clip, and you know how slow H.264 can be a rendering. I, I mean, switching my scratch disk and media, serving my media from this server over the Ethernet to my iMac has increased my speed more than anything I've ever done as long as my, I've been doing this editing stuff. Uh, it's, the, it's the absolute best upgrade that I could have done to increase productivity. So as you can see, it's still rendering. The Ethernet lights are going crazy because, as I say again, the scratch disk is over here on the server. So it's transferring through the Ethernet cable there, rendering to over here. So my render files will end up over here on the server. And I'll have them. I can store them. I don't have to worry about emptying my render disk because I don't want to take up the hard drive space on my iMac. It's all stored over here on this server. So I've maybe I've been a little repetitive, but this is my setup at home. This is how I work. I have a server that serves all my media to Final, my Final Cut Pro projects and my iTunes and stuff. And I have my iMac for my main machine and my recording of my podcasts and stuff. So how far along are we into the rendering? As you can see, we're about a quarter of the way there already since I've been talking there. And, uh, well, that's it, guys. That's how it works here at the Meek Household. Mac Pro serving it up to an iMac i7 and a 20 inch iMac in the living room. So that's how we do it here. We'll catch you on the next video, guys. OS 10.